Well, data from the American Library Association shows that book bans in school and public libraries reached a record high in the United States last year. Huffington Post reports that over 1,200 challenges were put together by the ALA in 2022, almost double the recorded record in 2021. Now, bills supporting book bans have been proposed or passed in several states, including Florida, surprise, surprise, Arizona, Iowa, Texas, Missouri, and Oklahoma. Now, books on the chopping block cover several topics, including Angie Thomas's The Hate You Give, the 1619 Project, the Pulitzer Prize winning report from the New York Times on the legacy of slavery in the United States, and the late legendary novelist, one of my favorites, mm -hmm. Toni Morrison's Beloved. So it is insane that we live in a country where it is easier to ban books, but the, there is a challenge and a struggle to ban uh, guns uh, in terms of getting them in the hands of people who should not have them mm -hmm. to begin with. Um, so it's an interesting dynamic. It is. It is very much so. You know, and in case folks didn't notice, I think we've just got to say the quiet part out loud here. Yeah. That book bans are not normal. Right. They're not normal. Uh, and, you know, for the folks out there that are trying to act like this is normal, when you study, you know, book bans that have happened in other countries, um, it, it's usually followed by not so good stuff. Yeah. Right. And so we've got to take this stuff seriously. And, you know, uh, uh, we've got to push back against it. I mean, you know, knowledge is power. And, you know, when people attempt to erase our identity, uh, to erase our contributions yeah. to America, uh, then they are attempting to uh, take our power and we can't let that happen.